Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. Uh, on this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then uh, give recommendations along the way. And so this is our first time meeting. Just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can replace your rear differential fluid in your truck coming up. So a little bit of information before we jump into the actual job and uh, I go through step by step how to do it. Uh, if you have a Ram 2500, 3500 uh, with this axle in the rear, uh, the 11.5, uh, if you have it from year 7.5, so 2007 and a half to 2018, uh, the interval says it's supposed to be 15,000 miles or 12 months if it's in a severe category. So uh, the question is, what is, uh, what is severe? How, how much is severe use or how much, how hard are you going? Um, they are recommending literally every 15,000 miles. So if you're a transporter like myself, uh, 15,000 miles is a month and a half maybe. So that's kind of, uh, I, I think that's a little overkill uh, literally in a month and a half. And then the 12 months aspect of it, I definitely see that as being more reasonable or closer to maybe a hundred thousand or somewhere in that range. Um, I would probably feel safer at 75,000 miles. Uh, this is just my, uh, my thought process. Uh, I know lots of guys who literally just never replace their fluid until something bad happens. I don't want to go that far. But uh, I would say either at a year or 75,000 miles, which would be less than a year for us, for me, uh, with all the towing that we're doing. And that fluid's constantly going. It's constantly being uh, used up. Uh, the lubricity is probably breaking down over a period of time. Uh, so I would just advise you, uh, every time you do an oil change, pull that plug out, put your pinky in, make sure there's still fluid in it. Make sure it's not nasty, muddy, dirty black. Uh, that it's actually looking good, looking clean uh, to the best of its ability. And uh, just keep an eye on it. This is a dangerous thing to have a problem with. Uh, so make sure your fluid is good. Make sure there's no leaks. And I uh, just wanted to cover this interval picture and what it actually looks like. So if you're planning on uh, doing your interval at a certain time, uh, either in months or uh, in miles, uh, just make sure you keep up with that. Make sure that your maintenance plan is strict, uh, that you're checking on it regularly every every month or oil change, whatever that may look like for you. And so uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the video, see what you actually need to do the job, and then we'll get into it. All right, so what you're going to need to be able to uh, break those bolts, they're 13 millimeters. So right here I have a 3H drive with a short 13 millimeter. I also have my torque wrench here. Uh, this is a half drive, so I've got the 13 on there as well. Uh, it's free and clear in the rear uh, to get these bolts. So this will be a simple job to do uh, 13s uh, using this and then the actual seal to replace this as well. Uh, I got this from uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. So uh, go to your, any auto parts store is probably going to have it. I'll put a link in the description uh, if you want to just order online. Uh, I'll just have that option for you if you want to make it easier on yourself. Uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and get into the video. So here it is. It's your 14 bolt rear differential, 13 millimeter uh, socket is what you need. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get these loosened up and uh, start draining it. I've got my uh, pan down here below and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. So now that I have this cover off, I'm going to continue to let it drain. It's still seeping out of there at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to clean up the 14 bolts that we just took off. I'm going to inspect them, make sure they're still good, and then uh, clean up the cover. I'm going to inspect the magnet on that cover as well. Uh, make sure that this is all cleaned up, ready to go before we uh, put the new seal on, and then uh, button it all up. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this plug 
and see what the magnet picked up. See uh, where we're really at with all this. Let's see here. All right. So we have have a bit here. Um, it's pretty fine. Yeah. So we'll get this cleaned up. Uh, it has been like I think close to a hundred thousand miles since I've uh, actually replaced this. So. So we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then uh, turn this around and get this cleaned inside. All right, so just like that, we've got it cleaned up. I just used some regular uh, uh, brake pad cleaner and uh, got that all shined up. Uh, it was looking pretty rough. I'm just going to do a little bit on the uh, all the bolt bolt holes through here, clean this up a little bit, and then uh, we will be ready to uh, line up the gasket and then we'll uh, bolt it back up. All right, so one last thing. We just want to make sure that uh, the gasket is in the proper orientation. You shouldn't have to force anything. Uh, you shouldn't have to bend anything. Uh, it should just sit right on top and be good to go. It's all cleaned up. We've got the new seal in place. And then uh, what I usually do is, uh, let's see if I can do a good view of it here. Uh, since this is the top right here, I put a bolt in at the top to make sure everything's still lined up. Uh, a bolt in at the top and one in the bottom uh, at the very bottom here to make sure that everything is still in place and you'll be able to see if if these two are lined up then uh, it should be in order uh, the rest of the way so I just go in with two bolts bottom and top and then just put it right up against the uh, rear differential and then uh, go from there with the other bolts so that should be simple enough to uh, get it back on there without struggling and fighting this uh, the seal to go back on and just real quick I just want to mention uh, with these bolts it's nothing too critical but I just like cleaning it with a brush uh, making sure that they're in good condition uh, nothing's going to be stripped I don't want to have any problems with any leaking or any issues with that so I just try to make sure it's uh, in good condition it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, this is just my preference. You do what you got to do. If your bolts are in good condition, great. Uh, but I just like to do that with mine uh, as an extra precaution. Cleaning it up, making sure it's all good. I'm going to wipe this down. This has some of the oil on it, but uh, just, a, just a thought. So before we go ahead and put the cover back on with the new seal, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up a little bit around the perimeter, wipe everything down, and then we'll go ahead and put it on. So as we go ahead and put this back together, uh, the bolts that we've got here, uh, it looks as if from the factory there was already some Loctite or something on there to uh, keep it securely in there to make sure that it doesn't uh, break the seal or uh, lose fluid. And so we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite 268 on here, just a little bit, each little bolt. Uh, that's kind of a lot right here, but uh, just enough to... Uh, get it in there and keep it secure. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two in the, the top and the bottom and then uh, go from there. Alright, so now that we've got all the bolts on here hand tight, uh, we're going to go ahead and get them up to the proper foot-pound torque. Right, so the torque spec for all these bolts is going to be 30 foot-pounds. So I've got my torque wrench here, and we're just going to get all these up to 30. All right, so we've got all the bolts torqued down to 30 foot-pounds. We'll go ahead and fill it up with our fluid, 75, uh, 90, and uh, we'll get this filled up, and then we will get this cap on there and be done with it. So with the fluid fully topped off in here, uh, which you know it's topped off when it starts coming out of this hole right here. Uh, so you just put the plug back in. Uh, I think this gets torqued down to 30 uh, foot-pounds. 
Uh, don't quote me on that. I can't remember for sure. You can look it up. Um, but uh, uh, put the plug back in. And what I usually like to do is overnight I set something uh, out underneath it just to see if it will drip on top, uh, cardboard or paper towel, whatever that's you know held down, just to see if there's any slow leaks on the bottom here. This will wrap it up for the rear differential fluid uh, change. So hopefully this was a help to you uh, as you are trying to get your maintenance done on your truck. Uh, this is the first time you are doing this type of job uh, and you're gonna try it because you actually watch this video and you feel confident enough uh, to try it for the first time. Let us know down in the comments below. Uh, that'd be super cool to see and uh, be encouraging to me uh, as I'm putting all this effort into the video. That'd be awesome to see uh, that type of thing afterwards. So let us know down below. Also hit that like button if you got good value. And uh, also, if you would do this for me, uh, I've got a survey down in the description below. Uh, that survey goes straight to me. I read every single one. And uh, it would be super encouraging to see uh, what you guys like about the channel, what you don't like. Uh, if there's something that I can improve on or many things, I know there is, uh, things that I can do better at. And so if you could help me uh, find uh, a better way to help you, that'd be awesome uh, in this whole thing. And so, uh, again, I just appreciate uh, all my viewers, all you guys who are subscribed. Uh, just It's so exciting to see the channel grow, and I'm excited for what's ahead. But uh, anyways, hopefully this all was helped you. My, my whole goal, you know, being the high mileage helper, I just... I just want to be a help to, to other people. Uh, God has, has, has helped me so much. He's changed my life. And you know, if, if we met uh, years ago, um, we would have a drastically different kind of conversations uh, rather than the type of uh, videos that we make here uh, that, we, that I try to communicate with you guys. Um, when I was nine years old, I, I trusted Christ as my Savior. Shortly after that, my parents divorced. And uh, uh, really all the way up through high school, uh, and in my freshman year of college, uh, I, had a lot of, I had a lot of hurt, had a lot of anger, uh, a lot of pain. I blamed God for it. Uh, I blamed, you know, family. And uh, I was just a different person at that time. Um, I finally just kind of dropped everything and just said, Lord, I, I can't do this life anymore. Um, I, I have so much anger, so much hurt. I just can't keep dragging it behind me anymore. And uh, you're the only one I've ever allowed uh, to be this close to my heart with and uh, I just said Lord just whatever you want me to do whatever you have for me I'll do that but I'm trusting you with the rest of my life whatever that means uh, whatever that looks like <laughs> um, I'll do anything you say uh, but I'm surrendering the rest of my life over to you I've already given my trust uh, at salvation uh, in Christ uh, him dying on the cross paying for my sins and um, from there, uh, he, he, took my, he took my heart that was hard and uh, the opposite of a helper, <laughs> uh, just stone cold. And he began working on that. And uh, it's been years now since that started uh, where I'd already had, I already trusted Christ. I, I knew I had a home in heaven uh, because of Christ. But um, I finally just kind of gave up on myself. And I just said, it's, it's all you. It's all him. And uh, since then, uh, he's, he's changed my heart from the inside out. And uh, that's why I'm really here today. Uh, that's why I want to keep making these videos, helping you guys, but also uh, unashamedly pointing you to Christ uh, because he is the difference. He is the thing. He is the person who's changed me from the inside out. And uh, I care for you. If I didn't care for you, I wouldn't talk about him. And uh, I just, I love you. I love him. And I want to be a help to you any way I can. Uh, spiritually and, and with your with your truck and so uh, anyways I hope this has helped you hope you uh, can kind of see my heart in all these things um, uh, this is important to me and uh, I hope it's important to you if you have any questions let me know uh, I'll be able to spend the time talking with you any way I can um, I care about you if I didn't bring this up and this is what I truly believe uh, then it would, it would be the most unhelpful thing for me to do uh, but because I care about you, I do want to help you. Uh, I do want to point you to Christ. Christ's sacrifice on the cross uh, is the only way to pay for our sins. We are all guilty. Uh, we, we deserve not being with God for eternity. Uh, we deserve hell. And uh, what Christ did on the cross for us uh, pays for all of it. And uh, I, 
uh, if you're still watching, uh, just consider it. Um, I'd be willing to, willing to talk with you, spend time uh, texting with you, calling you, whatever I can do. But uh, this is my heart, and uh, for whatever reason, I just felt like I really needed to make this uh, video uh, and talk about this uh, at the tail end of this uh, differential fluid uh, <laughs> uh, replacement, uh, fluid replacement. And uh, anyways, hopefully, hopefully this was a help to you. And uh, I just, I care about you. I love you. And we'll see you next time. God bless.